What if robots had artificial muscles? That's the challenge scientists from the ETH Zurich and the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems have decided to take on. Traditional robots typically employ motors to power their movements. Instead, this robotic leg uses artificial electrohydraulic muscles to mimic the action of a human leg. So how does it work? The artificial muscles are oil-filled plastic bags with conductive black electrodes on the sides. When an electric charge is applied, the electrodes attract each other due to static electricity, pushing the oil to one side and shortening the bag. Here is Thomas Bushner, doctoral researcher at the ETH Zurich. When we activate these muscles, um, the so-called electrohydraulic actuator sips together, which means the electrodes come closer and push the oil uh, to the other side of the actuator. This leads to a contraction and thickening of the muscle, similar uh, to a human muscle. A key feature of the leg's design is the antagonistic pairing of these muscles at each joint. So antagonistic, just like our biceps and triceps, they work against each other. If the biceps contracts, the triceps stretches, and the other way around, the biceps stretches when the triceps contracts. The advantage? It can adapt to the environment without needing sensors to constantly monitor its angle. The electrohydraulic muscle is inherently compliant and can be adjusted in its stiffness purely based on the level of voltage that we apply. This is key when stepping on uneven terrain and uh, because this dampens the motion while allowing for stability. The research was published in the Nature Communications Journal. And while the technology is still in its early stages, the team is already envisioning its potential applications. Bushna imagines a future where battery-powered robots equipped with artificial muscles could be deployed for tasks like rescue operations. The team is now focusing on developing artificial muscle systems to incorporate tendons and joints.